Hello everyone, this is Gali, and this time we're going to learn some tips on how to color with Photoshop. So this time is not a dragon video, although it will have a dragon. So I just wanted to show you uh, one of the quickest ways I use to color and some tips. So this is just going to be for people who know how to use Photoshop already or a program for drawing, especially with layers. If you don't um, or you're not familiar with Photoshop, that's okay. You can also watch the video and try to follow the steps so you can understand why I do what I do. So here's just like, for example, the start of this. So what do I do when I start a drawing? Well, first I have a layer. It's the background layer. And for just sketches or well, something in particular, I usually don't have a colored or textured background. I have a white background so I can see what I'm drawing. And I usually choose a 2B pencil, which is here in, in the brush tool. And you can alter this however you want. I, it's gray, but I choose black. And I keep all the opacity and all the flow on it. So I'm just going to make a sketch. For example, you can also choose blue to make your sketches. So I don't know, we're, we're probably going to make a, a dragon head. Just a quick drawing so you can see what we're going to do. And you can change the size of whatever you draw. I don't know, like this. And this will be the sketch. So what I do is I lower the opacity like this, here, until I can barely see it, and I name this sketch for the exercise. You don't need to do this if you don't want to, but I would strongly recommend for you to put names on your layers so you can find them later, and for example, you can make a new one and call this, uh, well, I don't know, that was a sketch, so we can call this sketchy life. <laughs> These are not the lines yet, these are just the sketchy lines. You can name them whatever you want, really, there's no, there's no like problem if you don't. We're going to make a very simple design because I just want to show you what I do with the coloring, not with the drawing. So let's just imagine a very simple looking dragon with like a lizard face. spikes like this. It's going to be terribly simple, but it has a purpose. This is not an anatomy lesson, so don't fear if it doesn't look great. It's just for reference. So you can hide your sketch layer and or block it. For example, I block them so I don't draw on top of them. And then I use this sketchy lines layer. Instead of calling it sketchy lines, I chose lines. Lines is better. Yeah, it's going to be the liner for now. So we are going to start with the coloring tutorial. There's something well, really useful that's called anchoring one layer to another, but what I do before I do that is try to fill this in with color. And there are two or more ways to do this, but I have two main ways to do it. The first one is I am on my lines layer and I use the W or the one. I don't know what this is here. You can put it here. So the wand, right? Magic wand. And you choose outside of your drawing. This works perfectly if you have closed lines. If you have drawn the whole figure and it's closed. In that case, you can just choose the outside of your, your picture and click Command Shift I. So that, that what that does is it, it inverts the selection to your character. So command shift I. If you don't know how to do that, you go to select and select inverse. So you can now see it's shift command I. So what that does is instead of selecting this, you're selecting this. But we're not going to color inside of this in this layer because that will ruin the line art. So what we do is we go under the line layer and create a new one on the bottom. 
And you can fill it up with any color you want, I don't know, which is purple. So you see now, you have your lines, and underneath you have the color without having to draw all over it. And that's wonderful. In case you don't have a finished drawing, I will explain. Imagine you have a little opening here. It's a very complicated design, and imagine you don't have the time to check every single line, or there are many lines, or maybe you don't even have lines, and you have coloring. But that's going to be a different video. So imagine you have an aperture here. See what happens when I choose this, it goes inside, and if I tried to fill it up, it would go all the way here, and it wouldn't work. So what do you do? if you can't go finding every single hole your drawing has and want to color it like I just did. Well, what you do, under the lines layer, block it just in case, to me if you need, we're going to do something as an example, I'm not going to do it perfectly, just so you can see. For example, what I do is I grab a big brush, and not this brush, no, a big brush that has perfect streak like this. And what I do is I go on the outline of the drawing. So I just go like this, all around it, and all the on the lines on the outside lines. Like there's no need to feel all of it. Just go around the outline. What I'm doing is just going around the inside. And if I chose a bigger one, it would work better. But I'm just doing this for showing you. So I'm gonna do it perfectly. As you can see, no, remember I'm not doing this perfectly. If I did, I would, it would take me longer. So, ta -da. just imagine you have the lines like this. Of course, this is going outside the line and it looks terrible, ignore that. There's one or two options. You can just fill it up like this twice, and it fills the whole thing. And of course, if you're just annoyed by this, you can erase it. Like, <laughs> but that's the second way of feeling drawing if you have open lines and you cannot do it, okay? We're going to stick with this one. So what I wanted to show you was how to color on top of this without going outside. Like if I do this it goes outside, if I do this it goes outside, so it's really annoying. What do I do if I just want to draw on this? Well what you do is you you can either lock this or not. It doesn't matter. You create a new layer. Or maybe it does matter, wait a second. Don't lock it. Create a new layer on top of that. This will be named color. And on top of it, we're going to choose, I don't know, shading. Shading! No, I'm kidding. What happened with the Y? <laughs> okay. So, click Alt, 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 and you see this, this thing appear. You see it? It's a square with an arrow on it. Yeah. Alt and it happens. Click in the middle of them, like this, and you'll see your layer will be anchored to the one on the bottom. And what it does is that you can probably, I don't know, grab a different color and do this. Ta da! You see? It doesn't go outside. It's so wonderful. Yay! And what you can do is you can either draw and try to do whatever craziness you want to do on your character, and it won't go outside at all. In what I want to do, for example, I don't know, grab um, this color, grab a darker one, grab a different brush, 